Let us now look at the next example which is based on polygons. Let's read the question first. Each interior angle of a regular polygon is 18 degrees more than 8 times of an exterior angle. What is the number of sides in the polygon? Options are 20, 10, 15 or 25. So this is a question based on polygons and like we have discussed in the introduction part, questions from polygons are formula based, right? If you know the formula, just substitute the given values accordingly and find out the required answer, right? We know that polygon is a uh, closed figure bounded by straight lines, right? Quadrilateral, triangle and based on the number of sides. For example, a five sided polygon is called a pentagon, six sided one is called a hexagon and so on. And we have looked at the various uh, important formula here, right? Uh, like for example, in a convex polygon, the sum of all the interior angles is 2n minus 4 into 90 degrees, where n is the number of sides. The sum of all the exterior angles is always 360 degrees. And if you have to find out, let's say, uh, the number of diagonals, it can be taken as n into n minus 3 by 2, where n is the number of sides, right? Likewise, if each interior angle is required, what do we do? Sum of the interior angles divided by the number of sides. So sum of the interior angles is 2n minus 4 into 90, that divided by the number of sides, which is n. So 2n minus 4 into 90 by n will give you each uh, interior angle if it is a regular polygon. You know that in a regular polygon, uh, each side is equal and each angle is equal. So we can simply say total interior angle divided by the number of sides will give you each interior angle. Likewise, each exterior angle, total exterior angle divided by a uh, number of sides, which is 360 degrees divided by n. So if you remember all these formulae, it will be very easy to uh, solve questions based on polygons. Well, this is a uh, this is a little complex one. Otherwise, we generally get very straight uh, questions. For example, uh, the measurement of each interior angle is given. We are required to find out the number of sides. So you can simply say 2n minus 4 into 90 is equal to the given angle in the question. Simplify to get the value of n. Or maybe the number of diagonals are given. Simplify to get the number of sides. Or number of sides are given. We are required to find out the number of diagonals. So it's all about learning those formulae and applying the right formula as per the given question and simplification to arrive at the required answer. Now let's look at this one here. It says each interior angle of a regular polygon. Now you know what a regular polygon is. Number of uh, each side and each angle is equal there. So what is each interior angle of a regular polygon? See total uh, sum of all the interior angles is 2n minus 4 into 90 degrees and each angle will be divided by the number of sides. 2n minus 4 into 90 divided by n. So each interior angle is which means equal to. Now this time it's about framing the right equation. So far we have been drawing the right diagram, constructing the right diagram. But since this is a formula based one, you just have to write the proper equation based on the given question statement and simplify to get the answer. So that is 18 degrees more than 8 times of an exterior angle. What is an exterior angle? See, sum of all the exterior angles is 360. An exterior angle means each exterior angle is how much? 360 divided by n. So 360 degrees divided by n. 8 times of an exterior angle. So this into 8 times. And it is 18 degrees more than this. So plus 18 degrees. So each interior angle is 18 degrees more than 8 times the uh, exterior angle. What is the number of sides? Now you know that n is the number of sides. Simplify this to get the required answer. Do the simplification. What do we get? So this is like 2n into 90. So 180n. 180n minus 4 into 90. 360 divided by n equals to. Let's simplify this part now. Let us take it as 8 into 360 degrees. Plus, see, let's take n as the denominator, right? So what happens? 18 degrees into n. 18 degrees into n. Whole divided by n. The idea is we can cancel n on both the sides. So that is the reason we have taken n as the LCM, right? So 8 into 360, the first term. Second term is 18 into n divided by n. So n and n gets cancelled. Now simplify 180n minus 18n. See, everything is in degrees. So you can just avoid that as well, right? So what do we get here uh, in the equation? 180n minus 18n is equal to 162 into n or 162 degrees into n equals to 8 into 360 plus 360. What is 8 into 360 plus 360? 9 into 360. If we take 360 common, what do we get? 8 plus 1. 9 into 360. So you try to cut down the number of steps so that you can arrive at the answer faster. And now you simplify. Uh, 162 is divisible by 9, right? 9 goes 18 times here. 9 into 18 is 162. And 18 goes how many times in 360? 20 times. So finally, we can say that n is equal to 20. So the number of sides here is 20, which is option A. So as you've seen, it's all about using the right formula here. Frame the equation 
and get the required answer. And most of the times the question asked in polygons are very simple. Interior angle is given. Let's say the interior angle in a polygon is 144 degrees. So what do you do? In regular polygon is 144 degrees. What do you do? 2n minus 4 into 90 divided by n equals to 144. Simplify and get the value of n. Or same may be given in terms of number of diagonals or maybe in uh, terms of exterior angle. So make sure that you learn all the formulae based on polygons so that you can solve such questions without any difficulty. So let us close this topic of quadrilaterals with this example number 8. We have tried covering a uh, variety of questions uh, through all the 8 examples here. I would not say that these are the only questions that can be asked in quadrilaterals, right? Or these are the only questions that can come under geometry. You know that geometry is a vast topic. Every question looks like a new one, right? So it's all about practicing more. Try to solve uh, more number of questions and just remember that solving questions from quadrilaterals is all based on the various properties that we have discussed about each of these quadrilaterals and formulae when it comes to polygon. So make sure that you are you know thorough with all the properties of different quadrilaterals and you have learned all this formulae by heart and by practice you will understand what should be the approach right. There is no direct method to solve uh, every question in geometry, right? It, it all depends on the question, right? Based on the question, you need to apply the right property or the right formula and then do the simplification to get the required answer. So practice more so that it becomes easier for you to solve or to get the right approach for solving such questions in the exam. That's all. See you in the next session.